In reviewing our past history, having traveled over every step of advance to our present standing, I can say praise God. As I see what the Lord has wrought, I am filled with astonishment and with confidence in Christ as leader. We have nothing to fear for the future, except as we shall forget the way the Lord has led us and His teaching in our past history. The Eastern Nigeria Union Conference welcomes you, all our leaders, to this unique year-end meeting of the West Central Africa Division. It is with great excitement and exultant joy that we receive you, called, chosen, and faithful servants of God, valiant soldiers of the cross, precious children of our Heavenly Father. We are intensely delighted to welcome our World Church President, Pastor Ted and Mrs. Nancy Wilson, to our Union and to Nigeria. Under your watch, our church has experienced such deep emphasis on personal revival and mission. We praise God for the astounding initiatives of faith and prayer that our church has experienced and pray that under your stewardship, the church will continue to march on and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. We welcome you, Pastor Etin Kola, Executive Secretary General Conference, and we thank God for the work you and Mrs. Edrain Kola are doing. Pastor Paul Douglas has been more than a friend to this union. Through his leadership, the GC Administrative Committee funded reliefs for our people that were battling ravaging floods while the GC Annual Council was on in 2022. We're so grateful. Only in heaven will the full import and impact of your work be known. We welcome you, Pastor Robert Osei-Bonsu, President of the West Central Africa Division and other officers and directors of the division. In January this year, you not only gave us money for the multi-center evangelistic outreach, you practically emptied the division office into our union when you and your officers and directors came to personally lead evangelistic meetings all across our union. We will never forget such show. We will never forget such show of spiritual force. We place on record that we have received 20 million naira from the West Central African Division in support of the Hope Channel Evangelism, which started October 20, 2023. We salute you, Pastor Se Bonsu, and your officers and directors for your unwavering passion for mission, exemplary humility, and competent leadership. We salute the administrative and executive committees of the West Central Africa Division for the decision to hold this year end here. In the Eastern Nigeria Union Conference, we see it as a mark of solidarity and brotherly love as we mark our centenary. The significance of this gesture is not lost on us. We are grateful to God and to you. We welcome all our Union Presidents and other officers that are here. Our dear leaders, may the Lord continue to renew your strength and bless you abundantly as you labor in His vineyard. This year, we celebrate 100 years of Adventist mission in Eastern Nigeria. It was in March 1923 that the World Church Headquarters formally voted to establish the mission of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in the eastern region of Nigeria. Pastor Jesse Clifford from Scotland was commissioned and deployed to pioneer the new field. Um, my name is Sangbazi Dike, the 12th child of the 16th children of late Pastor A.J. Dike. While Pastor Clifford and others who labored along with him now rest in Jesus, there are many who are still alive today who have built on the solid foundation of these early pioneers. It is a delight to acknowledge their presence here in this meeting. These leaders and others will be recognized and honored during our centenary service on November 4, 2023. In 2020, the Eastern Nigeria Union Conference was inspired to launch a three-year evangelistic initiative, 2021 to 2023, to prepare the church to celebrate the centenary of Adventist mission in Eastern Nigeria. This massive soul-winning initiative was christened Pentecost 2023. Since then, pastors, elders, women, and the youth, and even children have teamed up to pray, preach, and announce the good news of our coming King and to indicate that we are almost home. 
The Pentecost 2023 initiative and the centenary celebrations were birthed in prayer, and the vision has been nurtured through prayer. At the onset three years ago, the evangelistic initiative was launched with 60 days of prayer tagged Make Me the Prayer Warrior. The January 22 mass baptism was preceded by 100 days of prayer. Since February 2023, River of Blessings has greeted the dawn every morning in many Adventist and non-Adventist homes in our union. Also, every Sabbath evening, an evening in Gethsemane offers opportunity for the church to agonize in prayer over challenging issues of life, family, and ministry. As we counted down to the Hope Channel evangelism that kicked off October 20, we did so with another 100 days of prayer that will terminate with the end of the evangelism and our centenary celebratory worship on November 4. Also, every Saturday night since August 12, the Union has hosted a night of prayer that is streamed from one of our churches and downlinked to homes and churches via social media. It has been a great blessing. In the atmosphere of much prayer, our Union is receiving the power to announce the imminence of our Savior's return and the joy of our journey home. Ben Iwanosi is from Olo in Imo State. He is a legal practitioner. Ben was born and raised Catholic. Today, he is passionate about Jesus Christ and the Three Angels message. So, when I came in contact with Adventism, I really now believe that there is a true religion, there is a true church, only that people were far away from this church. So, the effect of my coming to this church is that it has made me to know that there's a power that can control your physical body. I never thought I could quit alcohol or quit every other thing a young man can face. In the course of his travels with the university, Ben went back and picked up the material he dropped and began to read. The Holy Spirit brought conviction to his heart and he asked for baptism. Following his conversion, Ben began to experience conflict with his staunch Catholic family. Ben's testimony is that God intervened in his travails with the University of Nigeria and Soka. He had suffered many years of indefinite suspension of his program because of an allegation that he led students in an insurrection. Following his conversion, Ben Ibanusi has been passionate about Jesus, the Adventist Church, and the Three Angels' Message. Ben has committed his life to mission. He is involved in evangelism in his local church in Olu. In Imo State. He also participates in a mission trip to unentered places in Nigeria at least twice every year. Ben Iwanosi represents the passion that drives the I Will Go Pentecost 2023 initiative in the Eastern Nigeria Union Conference. This initiative was launched in May 2021 to mobilize every church member in Enoch to be a soul winner, so as to bring souls to the Lord as the gift the church can give to Jesus. In celebration of the centenary of Adventist mission in eastern Nigeria this year, 2023, Dorin and Laura Kingsley were students of the Adventist Secondary Technical College, Orienta, since their first year in high school. For the love of music, they joined the school choir and with time began to play key roles in the choir. Though Anglicans by birth, they grew close to Jesus through the songs and worship experience they were exposed to in school. During the long vacation in Oweri, where they lived, Dorin and Laura sought to share their love for the Sabbath with their parents, but feared a backlash. So they would do their chores on Friday, so they would be free to sit and sing on Sabbath. Holy Spirit moved upon the hearts of dad and mom, and they loved the songs too. One Sabbath, Dorin and Laura mustered the courage to ask their parents for permission to find the nearest Adventist church so they could go and worship on the Sabbath. Dad and mom not only obliged, they took them to find the church in a way. When they found the church, dad and mom waited outside, but after a while decided to join in the worship just to see what's going on in there. Mom would later call the school hostel mistress to announce their newfound love for Jesus and the Sabbath. This year, the Adventist Secondary Technical College, Orienta, has baptized 176 persons, 
Many of them teenage students who are learning about the Adventist message for the first time. God is using our schools to bring not only students but also their families to the truth and to get ready to go home. In order to strengthen the impact of the church in our union, the Health Ministries Department of our union has collaborated with the Vision Center, a medical missionary group in Babcock University. They have also collaborated with NASINA, the North American Council for Eastern Nigeria Adventists, to carry out medical missions at various locations in our union. Only recently, in one mission, the teams attended to more than 2,500 persons gave out nearly 200 glasses, and conducted up to eight major and minor surgeries. Through medical missions, the church is pushing the strain. We're almost home. As part of our centenary celebrations, Nasina will be doing the foundation laying for a medical diagnostic center, which they have pledged to the SDA Hospital Aba. Also, we will be dedicating the gynecology building at the Adventist Hospital about donated by the Eastern Nigeria Adventists in the New York Territory, Ensdani. We continue to praise God for the love and sacrifice of Nasina and Ensdani. In the meantime, individuals, local churches, districts, and conferences are sponsoring missionary pioneers into these unentered communities. These missionary pioneers work to plant new churches in erstwhile unentered places. Worthy of note is the ministry of Dr. Frank Adielua, who is sponsoring 22 missionary pioneers to unentered areas. His love for God and his church and his spirit of sacrifice and consecration is exemplary. Dr. Adielua and his missionary pioneers are helping to stretch the strain that we are almost home. An SDA businessman in the premium business hub of Calabar, the Marian Road, is using Hope Channel to promote the Adventist church in his clothing shop. Only Hope Channel plays in this shop and in my other business places, the businessman told conference president, Pastor Eddie Ewo. God indeed is raising unusual vessels to bear the message of the three angels and to hasten our journey home. The women's ministries have made huge contributions to the mission of the church in Eastern Nigeria Union Conference. Only recently, over 3,000 women came together to the Enoch WM Prayer Retreat. The theme under his wings spurred the women to praise, prayer, and deep worship. Director Mrs. Gladys Wonkocha reported that it was a moment of great revival for the women. The women are fired up for the mission. Besides their welfare endeavors, Enoch women are also preaching the gospel on the airwaves, joining their voices to sound the tiding. We're almost home. One of the communities that received the Three Angels message during the January campaigns was in Biakba. About 58 persons were baptized after the campaign in that community. Biakpa in Cross River State is the birthplace of the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, a spiritualist movement whose leader and founder, Ulumba Ulumba Ubu, is worshipped because he claims to be the promised Holy Spirit. Planting a church in Biakpa and bringing souls for baptism was one of the miracles of the January Festival of Baptism. The missionary pioneers posted to Biakpa reported high incidence of girl-child molestation and sexual abuse. They propose a missionary project that is being funded by the West Central Africa Division, Children's Ministries Department. Project 40 targets 40 girls aged 12 to 14 who have suffered sexual violence or teenage pregnancy. The project seeks to provide them with skills in dressmaking, baking and sugar craft, making of decorative art and other skills. The community is elated by this youth development initiative that is helping the church to grow in that community. Our veteran, Pastor Dave Yekwe, led in a 14-night end-time lecture series that has brought more than 70 persons to the Lord. Last year, two laymen were inspired to raise about 8 million naira to sponsor a televised edition of the end-time lectures program was downlinked in more than 80 centers across and outside of Port Harcourt. Even in retirement, Pastor Dave continues to urge the strain, we're almost home. 
From its small beginnings, Clifford University is gaining new heights. This October, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Chimeze Omono, reported that the Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nigeria has approved the upgrade of the nursing program from a carrying capacity of 50 to 100 students. The National Universities Commission also approved some new programs recently, bringing the total course offerings at Clifford University to 35. Clifford University is building lives and preparing people for the onward journey home. The Clifford University and the Eastern Nigeria Union Conference continue to praise God for the kindness and generosity of Dr. Adede Jadeleke, who has established a scholarship program to provide 100% sponsorship for 100 Adventist students to attend Clifford University. The scholarship, administered by his foundation, the Springtime Development Foundation, is designed to increase Adventist enrollment at the Clifford University and to support a bright future for young people who otherwise would not have access to higher education. Dr. DG and Clifford University are showing that we are almost home. Everywhere around the world, Ihe High School and the Teacher Training College alumni remember their alma mater with nostalgia. This happy feeling was for decades tainted with the realization that the place has been a shadow of the founder's dream. That was till the facility was returned by government to serve as a take-off site for Clifford University. Today, the old boys and girls of the school have moved to reclaim the legacy by re-establishing the Ihe High School. The commissioning of the school this week will be one of the high points of our centenary celebration. The rebirth of Ihe High School is indeed a dream come true and a great addition to our toolkit for preparing people for our journey home. The bicycle carnival was first used by Pathfinders in Aba East in 2022 to distribute the great controversy. This year, hundreds of our people pulled out their bicycles to promote the Hope Channel evangelism and other community initiatives of the church. The bicycle carnival, as well as the eight-week health challenge, have been used to promote the centenary and our evangelistic initiatives. They have also helped to deepen the health message of our church as we encourage people to pursue the path to wholeness. Our union has been blessed by the ministry of many of our church leaders who have graced the One Union, One Divine Service component of the centenary program. This united worship has fostered unity, fellowship, and cooperation in our mission drive. The union sought to deepen the knowledge base of the church by introducing the Inspire and Excite Conference, preparing for the 2030 church. This conference has been blessed by some of the best thinkers, teachers, and administrators of our church. We acknowledge and deeply appreciate their contributions. The Union also hosted a Centenary Education Conference on the theme, Adventist Education in the 21st Century, an Enduring Hope for Eternity. Professor J. A. Kayode Makinde and a host of speakers helped us interrogate the subject. All of these knowledge-building endeavors are helping to deepen the capacity of the Church to fulfill the mission and prepare for the onward journey home. The last phase of these intellectual treats will be Centenary Public Lecture planned at the University of Port Harcourt on Friday, October 27, 2023. The lecture on ending food shortage in Nigeria seeks to set forth a biblical position for addressing the food crisis in Nigeria and the world. It promises to be a powerful salt-of-the-earth engagement. During the media, we reported over 10,000 baptisms as we opened the centenary year in January with a festival of baptism. Throughout the year, our fields have replicated this feat from Abba to Abakiliki, from Oweri to Oron, from the marshlands of Otoke to the high grounds of Ugoja. God's people have tried to push the frontiers of mission, bringing the gospel that sets people free and helping them experience the joy of salvation. and I am an Adventist and this program I have been looking forward to it for months or should I say yes since we've been planning for it for a very long time and it's been amazing this is just day three and I actually don't plan on missing anything it's been inspirational 
I have learned, I have relearned. There's a whole lot about the Bible that keeps intriguing me every day. And I definitely plan on finishing. I plan on coming every single day and not miss any day. Hello, my name is Juliet. Um, I am not an Adventist. I was invited by my friend. And so far, I'm really enjoying the program. And I'll try as much as I can to always be here and not miss any day. Because I love the, the scriptures, the stories. There's just so much to learn. And the song. I love the song. Thank you. The missionary endeavors of our centenary year will culminate in the Hope Channel Evangelism, which kicks off August 20. About 2,000 downlink centers have been set up in our union alone. We anticipate a bountiful harvest of souls. It is therefore with great excitement that we acknowledge the donation of media equipment worth about $53,000 to our union. The equipment will be used for the evangelistic meetings, and afterwards we shall continue to use them to produce spiritual content to bless lives and advance the course of the gospel in the Eastern Nigeria Union Conference. Our gratitude goes to the World Church through the Hope Channel International. We are grateful for the invaluable gift. We pledge to use them well. We also thank the Hope Channel for sending our brothers from Ghana, Tanzania, Kenya, Nigeria, and others from the Hope Channel headquarters. The weight of this investment in enhancing the work in Nigeria is not lost on us. May God bless you abundantly. Both our Sabbath school and church membership statistics have grown in the last three years. By the third quarter comparison, in 2021, the Sabbath school membership stood at 273,541. In 2022, it grew to 298,000 plus. Now in 2023, we can report 309,362. Baptized membership now stands at 191,316. That is up from 177,000 in 2022 and 172,000 in 2021. The mission focus of the centenary year has given a surge to our baptism numbers. 13,790 persons had been baptized as of September 2023. That was 5,040 and 4,574 in the third quarter of 2022 and 2021, respectively. We trust the Lord for a bumper harvest at the end of the Hope Channel Net event, which will end with our centenary celebration on Sabbath, November 4. And we hope to continue to reap a harvest of souls afterwards. Much as we celebrate this surge in our baptism numbers compared to previous years, much more needs to be done as our nearly 200,000 membership is still less than 1% of nearly 48 million population in the Enoch territory. As of September 2021, we had 447 ministerial workers. By 2022, 13 more joined. This year, 21 more were added, giving us 487 ministers. Our non-ministerial workers were 690 in 2021. This grew to 720 in 2022 and remained so in 2023. Our ACMS enrollment had hit 95,120 as of September 2023. This represents nearly half of our membership. We hope to attain 90% by the next report. All our workers and members are uniting to sound the loud cry that we're almost home. Our current assets have grown in 2019 to 957 million in 2023. Our fixed asset went from 340 million in 2019 to 370 million in 2023. Other assets floundered around 1.5 million between 2019 and 2022, but took a leap to 7.3 million in 2023. Our current liabilities stand at 820 million. Total net assets have gone from 255 million to 462 million naira. Our self support is at 134%, up from 91% when we began in 2019. Our working capital was in the negative in 2019 and 2020. Today, we have 51%, while our liquidity is 18.37%. At the dawn of this year, 2023, our centenary year, 
Uh, people were still reeling from the aftermath of the floods that hit many parts of the Union last year. Then we got into a very turbulent political transition, the results of which are still being contested at the Supreme Court. Then the effect of the removal of fuel subsidy created a hike in pump price from 168 naira per liter to 650 naira per liter in some places. This economic downturn has had a telling effect on people and their families. But our people have braved the odds to support the mission of the church. Our gaze is fixed. Our hope is anchored on our Savior's promise. I will come again and take you to myself, that where I am, there you might be also. So when you see these things begin to come to pass, look up and lift up your head. Your redemption draws near. Even so, Amen. Come, Lord Jesus.